So this is the Pullman Hotel where the Super Eagles of Nigeria will be lodging, you know, for the AFCON, which is coming up in January, you know, which will start January 13 to 11 February 2024. So the Super Eagles and Ghana will be lodging in this hotel. So this is the inside of that hotel, you know. It's a very fantastic hotel that's in the city of Abidjan, you know, that city. So it's a place I've been to in Abidjan, you know, and then I've... I've I've entered uh, the stadium, which is Stad Felix, uh, you know, Hofet Bogni Stadium in Abidjan. So this is a wonderful stadium, a first-class stadium, you know, prepared for this tournament. A, a lot of them, you know. So Abidjan is, is a good city. I've been there, you know, and then there's one popular food in that place, which is called Achiki. You know, it's cassava made, you know, and then with with um, fish and stuff like that. I think the Super Eagles of Nigeria will enjoy this meal. It's something interesting in the city of Abidjan. It's uh, a treble lava. Lava is a plaisir pour aller on Abidjan. You know, in French, if you go to Côte d'Ivoire, it's a country you have to cherish. a country you see a lot of things, diverse culture and, you know, and banana and plantain you see a lot of things to you know those who be visiting for this nation's cup i think you will enjoy that place so nigerian who is grouped with you know the host country Cote d'Ivoire and guinea bissau and also equatoria guinea the super eagles so super eagles will play in their game i think we have game in 14th of january and also playing um 18th and the last game will be 22 of january so I think the Super Eagles are prepared, you know, for this um, tournament. So hopefully we'll come out with flying column. And moreover, not to forget, you know, Nigeria have done well in the year 2023. And especially for our own Victor Osime, you know, he has put the Nigeria map on top of world football, African football, you know, and world, you know, because this is a young man who is doing pretty good, you know, in Napoli. You know, so since he has signed for this club in Napoli, he has done exceptional well, you know, playing a couple of games last season, you know, scoring a lot of goals, you know, in all competition, you know, he is the highest scorer in Italian league for last season. So he's a young man who has done well both for national team in the qualifiers, you know, he has scored a lot of goals and then he was rewarded for his effort, you know, as African Football of the Year, the highest in Africa, you know, is something uh, uh, imaginable for a young boy who grew from Olusha, so like every other players, you know, in Nigeria who have, you know, gotten that award. So, Victor Sime, since 24 years ago, when Kano Wankwo won this, you know, he stood, he came out, you know, and got this, yeah, Lauren, so which is a bravo for this young man. And we don't have to forget about the Nigerian Super Eagles player, those who have won this uh, this award. We have Kano Wanko who did it. We have the late Rashidi Yakini who also won it. And we have Emmanuel Amuneke who happens to be the coach of Victor Sime in under 17 in 2015 in Chile. You know, so I think uh, he, he was the coach of Victor Sime. You know for this uh so for him to coach him and also for him to win that's why Victor Sima in his speech he said Emmanuel Amuniki owns me a lot he's the one that picking you know to pick this talent to become African football of the year for for him to rise to stardom is Amuniki that started apart from his youth clubs you know when he was growing up he went to the national seventeen camp you know where he was saying that even they packed their, themselves in a car to go to Abuja for this trial. So imagine that. So this is something he, he never believed that would happen to him. That's, we're talking about Victor Osime. So he was the, he's a boy that sell newspaper in the street of Lagos. And it happened, you know, Jota precisely. And it happened that he has rise to stardom to become African Football of the Year. It's an, something, uh, um, glorious something we appreciate he has put nigeria map again after many years and not to forget about victor ipeba he also won the 1997 you know african football of the year so victor ipeba 
So he's one of the icon legend of football. Those Super Eagles who has played for Super Eagles who has won it. So we have five Nigerians who has won the African, you know, Football of the Year. And not to forget about our sister to Shuala. This is an icon, this is a legend in the women football. You know, she has won it six times, you know, for Nigeria. We're talking about Asisa to Shuala, the Barcelona forward, you know, is something I don't know how to describe her, you know, she's uh, awesome, she's great, she's somebody who, I don't know, I was thinking, I said, she's going to, she want to be like a Messi, you know, the main, you know, version, like, of football of, of the, I think she has won six times, so it's something, you know, commemorable, something we have to appreciate, it's wonderful, I don't know when another player, in Africa, in Nigeria, can rose to that stardom, you know, to beat this record. It is a record we should have set. And I also wish her more before her retirement if she can win the Ballon d'Or for women. I think it would be a great thing. The last one was won by a Spanish and a, a player in Barcelona. So I think she can rise to that if she, you know, if she score more goals, play good football, win the women version in the Nations Cup for Nigeria and I think she can be in the chance also to win Ballon d'Or you know for women so that is it for now you know so I think um, I wish um, the Super Eagles of Nigeria a good stay in Abidjan that is coming 13 January to 11 February you know so and I think the coach also Jos Pesero you know we're looking forward he has uh, visited some players some Keeper, goalkeeper, he was in South Africa, you know, to see um, Stanley Mwabali, who, who is a goalkeeper for Chipper United. He has been in the camp once, you know, you know, some years back. One time he has been in Super Eagles. So we hope maybe if he's making this squad, you know, maybe we'll see. Because the goalkeeper department, we have Uzo and we have some of them. I don't know, Joe, I don't know. So everything will depend on the coach who will make this Nations Cup list. Especially that department, goalkeeper, is what we are looking into. Because we want to go to the tournament in Abidjan, Cote d'Ivoire, with good goalkeeper. Someone we can rely on. Someone we can beat our chest and say, yes, this is a goalkeeper. And then I wish all the Super Eagles and Victor Sime a good tournament in Abidjan. So I remain Yossin Sport, Daniel. Formado.